Um, so the plan for next week is to do the uh, Resident Evil Village spoiler cast. Um, that will probably just be like the entire duration of next week's episode. Are we talking um, about Resident Evil? <laughs> okay, but here, here's a decision we have to make. Um, so we are going to do like full story discussions. Do we want to lightly talk specifically and only on the gameplay stuff right here? In general I mean, impressions. Be very hard, but sure. Even I semi believe. Even that can be kind of difficult, though. We have to be yeah. like super. I I will I'll, I'll do this. Uh, I will lead the charge, and we feel <laughs> I, I I trust your judgment to 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 uh, play it by ear. Um, Resident Evil is my favorite gaming franchise of all time. I made a stupidly fucking long video essay on Resident Evil Four. Um. I would have to like type out my listings or whatever, but like Resident Evil 4 is my favorite fucking video game of all time. And Village takes a lot of cues from 4 in a many, many different aspects. Uh, and it is my second favorite Resident Evil game, and that's pretty fucking high praise for me. Um, since I hold that series like in very, very high regard. Um one part that I think I've seen like maybe some people talk about it, but it's generally something people don't talk about within the games industry or like maybe even casual fans of like film and movies, uh, TV shows, whatever. The pacing for this game is so fucking on point. And whether it's like the very purposeful setup where it says like here is your A to B to C to, to D goals, like you, you, you know everything and just it's all constantly adding variety in between things, giving you new, um, Maybe not entirely new verbs, but the pacing's on point. That that's all I'll say. Um, without going into like story stuff or whatever. It's a uh it's a good build a bear simulator, Blaine. No. You piece of shit. <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh, that's that oh. Yeah, like, there's not there's not much I can say in this restricted fashion that Jose hasn't said. The pacing is perfect. The tone, both tonal pacing, gameplay pacing, narrative pacing. Um, I know there are. This is going to come dangerously close to what we're not trying to do, but I know there's people that have issues with, in some ways, the back half of the game. There's some people that have issues with the very, very like last few bits of the of the game. I, I don't know. This this might be this might actually become my favorite Resident Evil. I'm not sure because it's just so many things that I wanted. Um, and I also just want to I just want to point out for like the millionth time that I predicted this game and what it was going to be like a year and a half or two years ago. Y'all saw me do it. Y'all mocked me when I fucking made my whole like, oh, this is this is like a sp- this is basically a remake of Resident Evil Four. And then now I didn't I, like, mock you. You didn't mock me. I'm talking about the general, y'all, including Twitter. Um, but no, like, and all, but all jokes aside, no. I mean, it's it's cool to get something that is so many things that I wanted just in a package, um, and I can't really think of. I I definitely get the same feeling from this that I got from Resident Evil Four, which is like as soon as I beat it, I was like, okay, let's jump right back in. Let's mm-hmm. let's let's just keep going. Without spoilers, there's a new game. You can do new game plus on, on the harder difficulties. And I don't know why people are recommending like first playthrough play on hardcore because that shit's still pretty hard, even with like my, uh, I guess like the third tier weapons. I don't have fully upgraded, but it, it's still a decent challenge. The reason um, why people were saying that was because people compared, people said that the casual mode in, in Village was way too easy. And that even normal was on par with Resident Evil 7's casual. Hard is apparently on par with Resident Evil 7's normal. I never played Resident Evil 7 on normal because I'm a because I'm a bitch. So I was just like, I, th- I was I th- like, I was. I think like, those people don't. Mm-hmm. I think those people misunderstand that they're better at games than maybe they think they are, and that mm-hmm. that like, oh, this thing is too easy. Like, I don't think it's too easy. I think it is under your skill level, which is what it's there for. for I don't think it's even your skill level. I don't think it's even necessarily that. And like, uh, this is a point I was going to bring up was um, it, there's been a bit of weird reception from people that have specifically like only played seven where they're more used to this. Um, I guess you can even tie it into like some of the older games where 
uh, their their preconception of Resident Evil is every single enemy should be this big surmountable challenge, whereas Village is taking those heavy cues from four, where it's just like, yeah, no, you have plenty of ammo to take out these dudes. Maybe you'll get a little tight here and there, but uh, like a single enemy in village is not as tough as a single mold enemy from seven that that's what i'll say yeah so, I, so maybe like I that's where some of the, the thought process comes from maybe yeah i yeah I, i'm not gonna spoil it but i think the last half of the game definitely is like if, if they had gone by the whole every enemy should be a challenge i would have gotten so fucking annoyed so bad mm-hmm uh, they like, oh, they do a good job of balancing the enemy density with tension. I'll I'll just say that. Oh, yeah. oh mm-hmm. I just I just want to say because this is a complete non spoiler. Sarah, I was right. I I was there. I was right about Werewolf Chris from the very beginning. Okay, but Capcom was gaslighting me the entire fucking time. I and believe I'm my words at- were that poster is marketing purposes. I am angry, but I'm angry in a horny on main way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that not the best way to be angry? I mean, I guess. I don't is know. <laughs> I mean, well, like, because, like, because, like, Blaine and I discussed this, and I feel like Capcom just gaslighted people kind of a little bit, right? Right, Blaine? We discussed this. Yeah, like, I wouldn't say gaslighting like, necessarily, but th- there was like a bait and switch situation. Yeah, there was on. a total bait and bait and switch thing where like if and I'll talk about this on the on the podcast. If you think about it thematically, it makes sense. Like everything, and again, I'll, I have a whole thing I'll discuss on the spoiler cast about it. Um, but if you look at it from like an outside standpoint, you're like, yeah, I can see that happening, and then the thing doesn't happen, and you're like, you missed the opportunity. <laughs> you missed an opportunity to do a thing. I, just I, didn't do the thing. I, I will say with non-spoilers because this is a discussion that we had on I think like two episodes prior um, with, with with the premise of Chris doing the bad thing to to uh, to Mia um, shit how do I want to say this I think that marketing was very obvious and people thinking that Chris had turned completely evil um, that w- shit. How was it? It was not it. That's all I'll say. Marketing. <laughs> yeah, um, it was all good marketing, so that you can uh, also you gotta love more. <laughs> you gotta love how that marketing for the game pivoted so fucking fast as soon as they saw people were, were horny for fucking uh, oh, yeah. Lady D- uh, Demetrisk. But then it wasn't just Lady Demetrescu, though, from the internet standpoint. <laughs> Everyone's like, Lady Demetrescu, and then people beat the game two days later. Heisenberg? Like, everyone's just like, <laughs> everyone's like, oh god, there's two? Like, it's, I, and, uh, Canty, Canty Unplugged, which, oh, hey, we actually share the same opinion. I got you. Uh, it's like Capcom's new edition, new strategy, exploiting it <laughs> bad. Bad. I'm so nervous that was gonna happen. Um, <laughs> Capcom, uh, Capcom's new strategy exploiting gamers' ho- horniness. Let's just be honest here. That isn't wrong. Like you have Chris, you have a Lady Demetrusk, you have Heisen Heisenberg. There's some weird people attracted to Ethan. I don't know. You 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 don't even see his face. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Ethan can't groom anyone in Village, so it's okay. I mean, he can't, but he also doesn't have a face. <laughs> and if people are just being attracted to, he's a tough dad. It's like, yeah, okay, that's fine. But like, no, I'm I'm Team Chris all the way. Once he started punching <laughs> boulders, I was all in. So that boulder punching asshole. I'm staring at my very nice Chris Redfield statue I got from the collector's edition. Which let me say, it, the collector's edition, if you buy it on next gen consoles, was like two hundred and ten dollars because I think it's because you were paying for the like next gen version of the game. That Chris statue is very nice. Like it is very detailed. It's sh- it's put together really, really nicely compared to to the Jill and Chris one that they released for the two remake and the three remake. Chris is fucking thick. Like <laughs> he's a very big. Like he's a very big boy. Hell yeah. Like it's it's just it's just it's so nice. Like it's and like I 
I'm I'm gonna go way more into how how much I absolutely adored this game when we do the spoiler cast. But like when I played Village, the amount of times that I said, "Man, it's great to be playing a Resident Evil game again," was just like so astronomical because it just kept happening. I would just out loud be like, "My God, it's so great to play a Resident Evil game again," because it, it's just Resident Evil is just so good, and Village is incredibly high up there as one of my favorite Resident Evil games of all time. I don't exactly have a list because I love all of them very equally, except for six. You know what you did. It's it it's like I'm and just the recent re remakes and seven and this, like Resident Evil's on a fucking high. Like and they're just gonna keep I have this feeling that like this high is it going to stop? <laughs> yeah, I, I think people underestimate like how many or how much good Resident Evil shit has happened in years. Like there was seven in 2017. There was uh, the two remake in 2019. Uh, 2020 had the three remake and now it's village. Like we are getting freaking uh, Resident Evil like on a almost like yearly basis. And I, I know the four remakes not going to be done by next year they we had a story where um it's getting delayed because of production stuff and whatnots but there has been a lot of good resident evil shit in a very short span of time yeah and it's like i completely like and especially going back in like the resident evil 3 remake i get why people don't like that game i personally loved and adored it for like a multitude of different reasons gameplay not just being one of them but, like, you have to admire a series that's both sticking to its roots with games like the 2 and 3 re remake and bringing itself into the future with 7 and 8. Like, they're doing literally the best of both. Mm -hmm. And just casually. Like, they're just, like, putting these out. And there's, like, and again, like, like Blaine said, like you said, Village is becoming people's favorite Resident Evil game of all time in a series that's stacked to the brim with really fucking great titles. I, I think for me it all I think for me it also just stood out more because um like I liked Resident Evil 7. Like I, I didn't love it as much as just like, oh, this is one of the best Resident Evil games of all time. I thought it was like a good return to form while bring while breathing some new um uh fresh air into the series. But like Village just like took my already like crazy high uh expectations and just like fucking blew them out of the water. So I am oh, totally and it launched the night of my birthday, and it was pretty fucking cool. Like, I I can't begin to verbally explain how much Village blew my expectations. Like, just exploded them. Like, it was, honest to God, I didn't think it would, like, I thought, I thought it would be good, because let's be honest, it's a newer generation Resident Evil game, and those are just really good. But, like, it would do little things. It would, like harker back to older titles in ways that literally just blew my fucking mind like i was like i can't believe that this is as good as it fucking is like we don't deserve this mm -hmm. but gamers don't deserve resident evil village because it's so goddamn good like every inch of it every ounce of it i mean obviously i have my little like nitpicks which this this is a spoiler but i'm just gonna bring this up really really fast in the ps5 version the game has haptic feed feedback and haptic triggers whoever programmed it does this really annoying, very loud clicking noise whenever you switch guns to, like... So, like, if you're switching from a shotgun to a pistol, the the haptic feedback gets less, because obviously pistols are easier to fire than, like, shot uh, shotguns are. But when you do it, it makes this incredibly loud clicking noise, and Blaine can attest to this, because I literally sent a video to her of the clicking noise. Oh, when yeah. it's, like, other games have done this... Like, Rainbow Six is a big example of mine. Other games have done this and make no sounds out of the controller. <laughs> so I don't know, like, what they were doing, but, like, what it's it got worth. so annoying after a while, and I just ended up having to force myself to, like, tune it out, because by the end of the game, I was switching back and forth between guns really fast. So I would just hear, like, click, 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 like, in the controller. And at first, people were like, oh, it sounds like it's, like, it's the, like speaker in the controller no nah. <laughs> for, for what it's worth Corey was telling me uh, e even when he was playing the demo and i guess he's bringing it back up here in the comments um he really liked all the haptic feedback and even the uh to, to quote oh, no. him specifically he 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 i like the clicky clack sounds well like i like haptic feedback in in games especially in resident evil village when stuff can get really tense and you're having to like just like hit it in the right way just to keep getting like shotgun fires out but like 
if games before you have done the same thing and, and have done it quietly and done it well, what what happened? Like, this is easily something they can fix with, like, an in-game patch, to be completely honest. I believe you can but, also do it manually at a system level. Yeah, it's just, like, why have it... Like, m my thinking is it was just a last-minute thing that they just didn't have time to fix, and they said, well, if this is the only thing that's really game-breaking, game-breaking, just throw it out, it's fine. But, like, that clicking noise, depending on how close you hold your controller to your face, because I sometimes do when I'm, like, scared, that shit can, 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 like, get annoying and, like, break immersion, kind of, because all, cause all you hear is click, 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 click. It's like, come on. I mean, <laughs> I'm just... playing on PC, so all I hear is click, 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 click. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm well, so like, glad you brought just... that up, because it scared the hell out of me when it first started happening. So I, I was shaking my controller around. It's like, is something broken inside? Yeah. <laughs> and then I switch weapons and click. I'm like, damn it. Okay. Yeah, like it's again the <laughs> the only reason why I'm nitpicky on this is I have played other games that have done this and they do it well. There's no noise in the controller, so I'm just like, what happened? Like, <laughs> I'm right. like, what, what, what happened? Like, what, what easily could have been fixed that they just like let go? <laughs> just um, weird. I guess to close out, um, Ramen and Blaine, do you have any additional thoughts before we move on? If, Loving the game so far. Oh, go ahead, boy. If you got through Resident Evil 7, really enjoying it, but feeling like, I wish that could just have a little bit more polish, a little bit more fine-tuning, and to be able to really, really figure out what it wants to do and be consistent, then you'll be very happy with Resident Evil 8. Yeah, looking back on it now, I feel like 7 was almost a tech demo for what they could do in first person and them exploring the medium, so to speak, and 8 is them realizing it. So it's a great game, really fun. I will say, though, 7 still has probably the best boss fight in video game history, which is a motel, a reference to a B movie made in the 80s or 70s, I forget which, called Motel Hell where two people fight with chainsaws. So, until another game does something like that, I don't know if I'll be able to say it's as good they have there's ever a boss fight as good as that boss fight. Also friendly friendly reminder that the engine that we all thought was called the Resident Evil engine is called the Reach for the Moon engine. Wait, is that a is that the actual thing? Yes. Oh my god. It's not Ooh, called the that's RE engine. It's not, it's not like the Resident Evil engine like we all thought it was. It's, it's God forbid the Reach for the Moon engine, which made it's me fine. so unnaturally angry when I heard that. I'm going to reach back into the that. past to make them change their mind. That's what I'm going to do. It's oh, Capcom. Fine. It's so dumb. <laughs> Capcom got a Capcom. It, thank you. That's like the best description I've ever heard. It's just Capcom got a Capcom. Like. <laughs> Jeez. Let's see where time code. We are at one, two. Um, 